These simple settings in Audacity will turn your audio from this to this. Here's how to do it. How's it going, weebs? My name is Bazaar, and I'll be showing you how to turn your audio in Audacity into a professional, studio-quality sound. Now, you've probably seen some other tutorials showing an end-all method of the perfect audio, and uh, I want to tell you right now, that's baloney. The reason is, everyone has a different microphone, different areas they record in, and most importantly, different noise levels around them. That's not to say that this guide won't help you, but uh, keep in mind that you may have to tweak a few of these settings uh, that I'm about to show you to get your own perfect audio. And as always, please consider subscribing to my channel if this video helped you in any way, but enough shameless promotion, here's what we got going on. Starting from scratch, let's go ahead and open up Audacity. You want to make sure that the project rate down here is set to 48,000 hertz. Mine was set to 41,000, uh, which is required for some voiceover work, such as with uh, ACX. But for your average voice recordings and whatnot, we're going to go with 48. Next, we'll add a new stereo track up at the top. You want to go to Track, Add New, and Stereo. And uh, again, here we're going to confirm some settings. Uh, we're going to make sure that it is 48,000 hertz. We'll click this little arrow here next to the track title. Once you click on that, you want to go down to Format and make sure that it's set to 32-bit float. Again, go to the arrow, go down to Rate, and just double check that it is 48,000 hertz. All right, once that is all in place, we are good to start recording. When recording, it's always a smart idea to leave three to four seconds of silence to make our future editing selves very happy. So record a bit of silence and then start talking. Hello, my name is Bizarre and this is the tutorial audio. It's not a bad idea to leave a bit of silence at the end as well. Once you are done, go ahead and hit the space bar to stop or hit the stop button here at the top to go ahead and stop your audio. And let's go ahead and have a listen to the raw audio. Hello, my name is Bizarre, and this is the tutorial audio. It doesn't sound terrible, but I don't think it would keep the attention of anyone for longer than a few seconds, so let's spice it up a little bit. So, I don't know about you guys, but my Audacity does this weird thing where uh, the quiet bits are kind of blocked up together, like what I'm highlighting right now. Uh, so, to fix that, all you have to do is hover between the two channels until you get this double arrow here, and then slowly drag up just a little bit until the uh, audio levels uh, go thin. Great! Next, we're going to select the entire track by either double-clicking or by holding down Control and hitting the A key. They both are the same thing. Next, we're going to come up to the top here where all these tabs are. We're going to click on Effect, and then we're going to click on Normalize. All right, once you're in this little screen, we're going to make sure Remove DC Offset is checked. We're also going to make sure normalized peak amplitude is also checked, and you're going to want to make sure that this is set to negative one decibels. We'll leave normalized stereo channels independently off, so make sure this is not checked. And once you got these settings, hit apply. As you can see, our audio spiked, and so did my noise level, uh, but we're going to take care of that at the very end. All right, again, make sure the entire track is selected. It should still be selected from last time, but just double check that it is. The whole thing should be white. Then we'll go back to the effects tab. And then this time we're going to select Compressor. All right, on these settings here, we're going to make sure our threshold is set to negative 18 decibels, our noise floor to negative 40 decibels, our ratio will be set to 2.5 to 1, our attack time 1.80, or as close as you can get it, it would let me get to 179, but if you can get to 180, that's great. And then our release time, 11.1. And we will go ahead and make sure that the makeup gain for zero decibels after compressing is checked. And once you have all these settings correct as they are on the screen, go ahead and hit apply. So depending on how long your recording is determines how long these edits usually take. Uh, since this sample audio is just a couple of seconds, it doesn't take too long. But if your audio is like 30 minutes to an hour, it could take a minute or two. Anyways, once that's done, we'll go ahead and make sure that the track is selected again Go back to Effects, and this time select Filter Curve EQ. It'll pull up this box, which looks like a lot of stuff, but we're going to click on Presets and Settings, Factory Presets, and then click Tremble Boost. You don't need to change anything else, just hit Apply. This will make our treble uh, more noticeable, and then we're going to go to Effect, Filter Curve EQ again, 
back to presets and settings, back to factory presets, and then this time we're going to select base boost. This will do the same thing as it did with the treble, but with the bass, obviously. And then go ahead and hit apply. All right, we are almost done. Uh, with the track selected again, we'll go back to effect, normalize, and we're going to leave the settings that we did the first time, and then go ahead and hit apply again. Awesome. Now this is more or less our finished audio, but if you have any background noise like I do here, uh, this just will not do. At the beginning, I said to leave uh, three to four seconds of silence before speaking, and here's why. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select the first few seconds of silence just by dragging our mouse over the quiet bits. And once that is selected, we'll go ahead and hit play and you can hear just what the background noise sounds like. Very staticky and hissy. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to effects, then we're going to click on noise reduction. Don't worry about any of these settings right now. Just hit get noise profile and that's it. Now, it doesn't look like anything changed, but what we did was we grabbed the noise profile so that way it picked up just the background noise. And now we're going to select the entire track, go back to effects, back to noise reduction, and we're going to mess with these settings a little bit. Now, in step two here, we're going to set our noise reduction to 12, our sensitivity to 12.5, and then the frequency smoothing, or bands, to 7. And then in these radio boxes here, we're going to select reduce under the noise. And then once you get these settings right, hit OK. As you can see, a lot of the background noise just completely disappeared. It'll still be there if you play it like this. But that might not even pick up in the recording because it's very quiet. But let's go ahead and have a listen to the entire audio. Hello, my name is Bizarre, and this is a tutorial audio. Hey, that's pretty good. Definitely a lot better than when we started, but let me give you a word of warning. Noise reduction has come a long way, but the more you use it, the more your audio will artifact and sound very staticky and overall not too great. Audacity is free and it does have a decent noise reduction tool, but if you have overwhelming background noise, you may want to look at other options such as Isotopes RX8 or higher, which is a paid software that I also use. And again, like I said at the beginning, you may want to tweak some of these settings to apply more personally to you, uh, but this should give you a pretty solid foundation to get the ball rolling. Another option of recording audio is through something like OBS, which you also have some like uh, microphone filter type things that you can mess with, but that's a whole nother video and that has nothing to do with Audacity. Uh, that's about all I have. If you guys want to see other tutorials, leave some suggestions down below. Uh, please consider subscribing if this video helped in any way. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.